Hey guys, Matt here with Lands. Got another property in Brewster County, Texas. That's West Texas. It's 20 acres near Big Bend. Check this out. It sits in the foothills, the western foothills of Nine Point Mesa. And it's between Nine Point Mesa and Black Hill, which you can see in this photo. So the little green arrow points to where the property is. And this is a very distant view of the property from the west. If we scroll in a little bit, you can kind of see a little bit more there. So we're going to show you that property. Let's dive into Google Earth and show you where it's at. So here we are at the good old US of A. You can see Texas down here, and it's going to be in West Texas. I'm going to flash the pin for you where the property is. You can see it's 20 acres, property ID number 14800, and it's in Terlingua Ranch, and that is Terlingua Ranch track number 5257. So as we scroll you on down here in Google Earth, you're going to start to see some more stuff pop up here. I'm going to turn on the parks and some roads for you. This property is right by Big Bend. It's between both the Big Bend parks, which you'll see in a minute. Keep scrolling down. You're going to see that you've got Big Bend National Park. This green outline over to the east and southeast. And then you have Big Bend Ranch State Park over to the southwest of the property. This property is between, let me see something right here, Alpine up north, top of the screen, and you take Highway 118 all the way down to it, and then the city of Terlingua, Texas is to the south of it. You also have Lajitas over here, which has an awesome golf course. Um, if you like golfing, this is a great golf course down here. And I'm going to scroll you down into the property. I'm going to show you a few different routes to get there from Highway 118 to the west of the property. As you can see right here, it sits in the uh, foothills of Nine Point Mesa, and it's between Nine Point Mesa and Black Hill. So right there you can see Nine Point Mesa, Black Hill, and it, this property sits right in the foothills of Nine Point Mesa. It's got some super unique characteristics in the land, land formations that we'll show you here in a little bit. So the first route to the property from Highway 118 is right there. You're going to turn right where the Little Borough Country Store is. So you've got, that's about three, four, five, five, six miles or so to um, the Little Borough Country Store where you can get supplies, food. Um, it's just a little, little, little country store. We can pull it up here and show you. There it is, little grocery store. So that's one route to get to the property. And then if you want the other route, Here's another route to get to the property. So you can see it's intersection of Highway 118 and East Spanish Sky Road. And it's not too bad of a drive. I'm going to bring you in here and show you the property outline. And as I do that, I'm also going to show you some, some drone footage that we had of the taken of the property. Some of these videos are a little dark and some of them get lighter. So let me start with the light ones while I have your attention here. And we'll play these on the um, on one side of the screen while I'm looking at the, while I'm taking you through Google Earth on the other side of the screen. All right, so there's the drone footage for you. Let's see if I can make that a little bit bigger. No, that's okay. All right, so actually these videos are short. Let's just let's just watch them for a sec. So this is the west side of the property. So right where that car is, that's going to be about the northwest corner that it's sitting in. And it comes down here to where this road intersects. Or you can see the little road at the bottom of the screen. That's going to be the southwest corner. And then it goes straight to the east, so straight to the right. All this stuff over here to the right is the property. You can see there's some unique formations, uh, land formations here on this property, and it goes up the hill into Nine Point Mesa. So you've got some flat areas, and then you start getting some elevation change there. Okay, let me show you Google Earth first, full screen on this property. So I'm going to bring you down here, and we're going to look at the property pro approximate property outline. I'm going to turn on the corners and turn off the identification pin so you can see it there. So here's the approximate property outline. Uh, the road to the west of it that runs along this west border is Orion Road. And if you look 
here you can see a view. I'm going to turn off roads and then you'll be able to see views on Google Earth to all the directions. I'll, I'll spin the uh, I'll spin Google Earth around so you can see it all. So here we're looking to the north, south to north view of the property. And then as we scroll around to the northwest, you can see Nine Point Mesa starts coming into the picture. Now we scroll around looking to the east. You can see this property is right in the foothills of Nine Point Mesa here. Now we're looking southeast. Now we're looking south. We're going to get more mountain views to the south. You'll see them in some of the photos on the property listing on our website. View to the west. So this is going to be Black Hill just to the west of the property. Oops. The green lines up here on the horizon are going to be uh, Big Bend Ranch State Park to the southwest. Here's a view to the west, so Highway 118 is right out there. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it if I turn on roads on this or not, but it's right over here to the west. And then we got a view to the northwest also. So now you've got kind of a better idea of what this property looks like. Let me see if I can fit this on a screen. Let me let this drone photography here. We're going to fill up most of the screen with the drone video and we're going to try and squeeze in the property outline so you can kind of see it here. Okay, so there's the property outline. I'm going to go ahead and play this drone video again for you just so you can see some of it. So if you look at my cursor on the Google Earth um, screen to the left, I'm kind of flying over this area, so the western side of the property right now. You can see the, the road curves right here on both screens. Now we're looking at the middle of the property from the south. Bring another video in here. So now we're looking from the southwest to the northeast of the property. So it's gonna kinda it's kinda got that view. Okay, that's a little bit better. So we're kind of looking here. Something like that, pretty close. So again, this is the west side of the property. This is a view from the southwest looking to the northeast. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. Let me pull up some more videos for you. So this is going to be looking from the northwest, north, basically north to south, I guess that this is. This is one of the dark videos. It's a little bit darker. Sorry about that. So we're now looking this direction from the property. Go. So this is that the hump right there on the west side of the property, and then these lines are the southwest corner of the property, which you can see on Google Earth there. Now we're kind of scrolling around to the center of the property there. You can see this line running up the hill right there, which is this line on Google Earth. Here's a video that is now from the northeast side. So you can see these really cool formations here in this property. Here's another video from the northeast side.
So the southwest corner of the property is right in this area here, right by the road. Alrighty, so that's all the drone videos we got. These are the next light ones. So now I want to show you the property listing on our website. So if you go to our website, our website is www.savvylands.com. If you want to spell it, it's on the screen there. It's S-A-V-V-Y-L-A-N-D-S.com. So if you want to get on our mailing list, you can go ahead and fill out the email address here in the screen. And then to find this property, you're going to go here, you're going to click land for sale, and you're going to scroll down until you get to Brewster County, Texas, and look for this one, 20 acres, property ID 14800. So here it is. So right now we are asking a price of 27999 for this property. And on this, on this website here, on our property listing on our website, any of these underlying items you can click on and it'll it, they're all hyperlinked to bring you to more information about that item. So for example, I mentioned this property is in a ranch called Terlingua Ranch. And if you click on Terlingua Ranch, it'll bring up, we've got some photos linked there. It's pretty cool photos. Um, you can see there's, here's the community pool. There's cabins for rent at the, um, at the ranch lodge. And you can just get more information there. If you want to buy this property, you can reserve it with a $4.99 deposit. And you can do that securely on this website with a credit or debit card. All you do is click the green um, words right here. Let's say click here to buy now. And you're going to be taken to this and where you can enter in a credit card or debit card info. And once you hit that payment, it'll automatically email us and tell us that uh, you made the payment. You want the property and we'll reach out. But be sure to reach out to us also and tell us whether, whether you want it for cash or if you want it for uh, financed, seller financing. So scrolling down on this, you get into the property details. You've got the property ID number. You've got the legal description here. Uh, it's in Terlingua Ranch number 5257. Again, if you click on these, it'll bring you to different information about Terlingua Ranch. So on this one, we've got TerlinguaRanch.com, and it brings you to information about the ranch lodge. You can see all these cabins here you can rent. Um, there's a pool, laundry facilities. Uh, there's a restaurant called Bad Rabbit Cafe. As I said before, this property is on Orion Road, and then the closest cross, cross street is Running Buck Road. Got more information here. Property taxes in 2021 were only $138.72. These have been paid in full. There are no back taxes. The title is free and clear with a recent title policy showing and proving that. There, these, this property feeds into Alpine ISD. Uh, the Property Owner Association of Terlingua Ranch, Inc., also known as Poetry, is the uh, governing body of the ranch. It's the Property Owner Association, and their fees in 2021 were $193.41. They maintain the roads throughout the ranch, and you can use the facilities, get a discount at the lodge um, for renting cabins, stuff like that. So if you want to learn more about them, you can click right there, and it'll bring you to their website. It's Poetry, P O A T R I dot org. You can see everything here. So if you look up at the top, you can, they've got um, like maps, you can get Google Earth Maps, interactive map traps, trap, tracked maps, etc. Their library is where you can download all the covenants and stuff like that, bylaws, all this stuff. Um, and then you can also make your annual payment to them online as well through their website by clicking payments at the top. We keep going down, we'll go to our reference documents. So a lot of the documents you can download on their website, we also provide here. And for example, you can go to the track map of Big Bend Valley to see this property. Click on that and it'll pull up a PDF of Big Bend Valley where you can find the property. Again, this is, if you go over here to the legal description on our website, it's track number 5257. So if you look at the map, you're looking for 5257. And it's over here on the right-hand side. Right there, 5257. Right in the middle of the screen right now. Alrighty, moving on. We've got some more maps that you can download here. And 
now getting to visiting the property. So you don't need to make a, an appointment with us to visit this property. Go check it out at your uh, convenience. We've got all these GPS coordinates you can click on and they'll drop pins on Google Earth for you. Uh, for example, if you want to get a pin to the, say the, well, let's say the southwest corner of the property where you can access the property along Orion Road, click right there on those GPS coordinates, it'll come in and drop a pin on the property, on the southwest corner of the property for you. So um, do note that we have this in the listing too. This is on Google Maps, Orion Road is called Missile Drive. So if you go up here to street name, it says Orion Road called Missile Drive on Google Maps. And same with um, Rutting Buck Road for the closest cross street name, it's called West Footing Rutting Buck Road on Google Maps. So just note that. We have driving directions here for you as well. You can click all those and drop pins on each one of the, the um, turns. And then we've got distances to the property, purchasing the property. Right now we're asking 27999 cash. We'll also do seller financing for this at these terms. If utilizing our seller financing, please be sure to read this paragraph here. No matter what, if you're gonna buy this property, please be sure to read all of this stuff so you know what's included, what's not included, and our um, our process for closing. Again, if you wanna reserve it with a 499 deposit, all you do is click here. If you close through us, that's going to cover your document preparation fee as stated down here with closing costs through us, 499 doc prep fee. If you close through, if you wanna close through title, that's fine. We're happy to help facilitate that with one of the local title companies in the area, uh, but the title closing costs are not included in our prices above, so you would be responsible for paying all of those. If you want to see reviews on our company, you can go over to our Facebook page or our Google Business page. We've provided links to both. Facebook, you can click here and you'll see all of the um, reviews that our previous customers have left for us here. And then you can also go to Google Business page and you can see all the reviews our previous customers have left for us as well. Make sure you never miss out on any of our properties by following and liking all of, all of our social media pages. We have provided hyperlinks in each listing here that you can just click on and it'll take you straight to them and you can like and follow us. You can also find all of our property listings featured on all of these websites as well. When you get down to the bottom of the video, this video that you're watching now is gonna go right here. So you'll see that there. To the right of that, you have a Google map with a pin on the property. So you can see it again. And then we've got tons and tons and tons of photos of this property. So we've got a bunch of the photos of the property itself. For example, let's pull up this one. So this is a view from east to west. It's kind of northeast to southwest here, but basically east to west. And you can scroll through these. You can download them, like them, share them. We've labeled the property in these as well, so it's easy to see. I keep scrolling down. We're gonna get down to the, some of the plat maps. You can see the property's near Littleborough Country Store, so it's about 4.32 miles as the crow flies from, little, from the, uh, the small grocery store there. All these are the Poetry Property Owners Association of Terlingua Ranch track maps and various different maps. We have Google Earth views in every single which direction. Um, of the property and then we've got a bunch of views starting with this we've got i believe it's 31 different views just around terlingo ranch to give you an idea of what the ranch looks like so you can scroll through all these and these are a bunch of different photos in different regions of terlingo ranch and this is this is what it looks like so this property is um right near nine point mesa which has some great views itself, but you also, if you wanna go drive around the property or the, the ranch, you're free to do so. And these are some of the views that you're gonna see there. Like uh, this is Henneg Mountain, which is west of the property. So there are all those. When I said regions, um, these are all the different regions or photos from a bunch of the different regions in the ranch. And if you want to know what the, um, the regions are, you can click on this map right here. These are all the regions. So this property is in Big Bend Valley right here, the pink region. Then you have Agua Fria, Solitario, Highway 118, North Corazones, and Cedar Springs. It's about all I got for this property overview. 
overview video. Hope you liked it. Hope you're interested in this property. Um, if you have any questions about this property or you're interested in purchasing it, you can contact us at the email um, at the top of our website here, sales at savvylens.com, or you can also call or text us at any time at the number at the top of the website as well. That's 832-626-2044. And just be sure to like and follow us on all of our Facebook, Instagram, social media, etc. pages so that you never miss out on another savvy property and check out the rest of our properties at savvylands.com. That's S-A-V-V-Y-L-A-N-D-S.com.